Jennifer and Julian's home life was pretty normal until Jennifer had a beautiful baby girl. Since then, their family cat Luna has turned everything upside down. Luna wouldn't let their daughter sleep alone, and when they were separated, she wouldn't stop meowing. When Julian found out what was going on, he was very shocked. He called the police right away, and they sent every officer they had. When the first cop showed up, he couldn't believe what he was seeing. How could this have been seen by a cat? He told Julian that he should be very happy to have a cat that could notice so much. Julian knew deep down that he had made a mistake. He should have been the one to protect his daughter. In just a few minutes, at least a dozen more police cars showed up. They started to ask Julian and Jennifer questions right away. The couple was shocked because they didn't know how bad things were until now. What the police came to look into was definitely scary. Even scarier was the fact that it had already started when Jennifer was pregnant. They should not have believed those people. But why wouldn't Luna let their daughter sleep by herself? And how did Julian finally figure out that he needed so many police officers? All of this started when Jennifer finally got pregnant, something they had both wanted for a long time. But there was something that bothered them, and that was their cat Luna. They didn't know how she would react to the baby. Jennifer had read some scary stories about cats who didn't like having a new family member. Both she and Julian hoped that Luna would be okay with this. If not, they were going to take Luna to a shelter for sure. When Luna finally realized that Jennifer was pregnant, she started meowing over and over at her stomach. Luna didn't seem happy about being pregnant, and she started acting very strangely. This strange behavior scared Jennifer a lot. They couldn't figure out why the person was acting this way. Did Luna feel like she was in danger, or could she tell something was wrong with the baby? Jennifer had to find out what was going on quickly, before it was too late. Jennifer asked Julian to go to the vet with Luna. Before they had to choose between the baby and the cat, they had to be sure that nothing was wrong with Luna. It wouldn't be easy to make that choice, but they knew deep down that if they had to, they would take Luna to a shelter if she couldn't take the baby. They would do this to keep their daughter safe at all times. But the vet couldn't clear things up. He checked the cat's health to make sure everything was fine, but nothing was wrong. He told Julian that she must be feeling something about how the baby is doing. He told Julian that Jennifer should go to the hospital to get checked out. When Julian told Jennifer the news, she began to cry. She felt like everything was wrong. She thought that Luna must have seen something wrong with the baby. Jennifer got up the strength to call her doctor. He told her to get inside right away. Jennifer called Eve, her friend who was there for her almost every day, and asked her to take her somewhere. She had helped around the house while she was pregnant. Within minutes, she was there to help her friend get to the hospital. When she got there, the person at the front desk told her she could go inside. To make sure everything is okay, the doctor did a lot of complicated tests. The ultrasound and the other tests did not show that Jennifer or the baby had any problems. Still, they didn't get the answers they wanted. When they got home, Jennifer broke down and cried over and over again. She didn't want to have to choose between her child and her cat. Eve gave her comfort. Eve told Jennifer that when they couldn't be home, she would be there for them. Eve would take care of their kids, she had a lot of time. This made Jennifer feel better because it meant that someone would always be there to watch over Luna. After a few weeks, Jennifer gave birth to Lily, a beautiful girl. Luna had been acting strange before, but now she was acting even more strange. During the first few weeks, it seemed like everything was going well. Jennifer and Julian were both at home to take care of their daughter. Luna seemed to have stopped being so crazy. But when they got to work, Eve called them to tell them something that made them worry. She told Jennifer that Lily could not sleep alone because Luna would not let her. Luna never left her side. Jennifer had no idea what was going on. Julian didn't think much of what she said when she told him. He was just taking care of Lily because he thought it was lovely. Then, one day, Eve called to say she was in trouble. She had taken Luna away from Lily and when she went downstairs, Luna attacked her. Julian knew that Luna needed to be punished for being too protective, and he told her so. With a heavy heart, he returned to the veterinarian, and the vet gave Julian a choice. He could bring Luna to a shelter, or he could figure out why Luna was acting this way, because the vet had a feeling something was off. Julian was upset by something the vet said. The vet told Julian that he and his family were probably the problem. Luna didn't believe them enough to let Lily sleep by herself. But Julian knew in his heart that there was more. He couldn't be the issue, right? After a while, they decided to look at Luna and Lily at the same time. Lily seemed to like the cat, and Luna definitely liked Lily. They couldn't say goodbye to Luna because she was too protective. 
The problem was that whenever Julian put Lily to bed or Lily fell asleep on her own, Luna was always there. Julian just let it go until Eve called one day to say that Luna had bitten her. This gave Julian a sudden realization. Julian figured out that Luna only did strange things when Eve was around. When she wasn't around, Luna was calm. Eve must be at fault. He was aware. Jennifer told Julian he needed to calm down, but she wouldn't let him act strangely. Jennifer told Julian that Luna wouldn't let Lily sleep by herself at night, so the problem couldn't be Eve. Did she? Jennifer thought of a great idea. She told Julian to install some cameras around the house to keep an eye on Luna and Lily. There would be a lot more answers to this. Even during the day, they could keep an eye on Eve. Eve didn't seem too sure about Julian putting cameras in the house. She asked if it was necessary and what had happened to make it happen. Julian found this to be very strange. He already did not trust her, and now she started asking all of these questions. When Julian looked at the first few days of footage, there didn't seem to be anything unusual. Still, Luna was very guardian. Luna constantly kept an eye on Eve. It was becoming clear that Luna did not trust her. Julian really wanted to talk to Eve. Since Julian and Jennifer were best friends, he had to do this without Jennifer knowing. Julian was very angry, so he yelled at Eve. Why are you hurting my daughter? Eve was totally caught off guard. She told Julian she didn't mean anything bad. Eve shot back at Julian because she was so angry. What else could she have done? That stupid cat behaved like this ever since Jennifer was pregnant, and she was not even around during the night. Jennifer then came home. Jennifer was very angry that Julian had talked to Eve in this way. She couldn't believe he was saying that her best friend was a threat to Lily. Jennifer told Julian that he had to figure out what was going on quickly or get rid of Luna. Julian realized that very moment that Eve had said something that would give him all of the answers he needed. At night, Luna did the same thing. He had never looked at the night footage before, but he will now. Julian started up the software, he gasped when he realized that every single night the recordings were wiped off the hard drive. There was definitely something very strange going on here, but what? He decided to make a separate backup of the night recordings every day that was also encrypted. Julian was now sure that he would find out what was going on. He thought that Luna had seen something that neither he nor Jennifer could feel. The next day, Julian was eager to watch the footage. When he loaded up the recordings, he saw right away that his suspicions were right. When he watched the video of the baby's room, he saw something come in through the window. Julian was so shocked that he could feel his heart beating hard in his chest. When he watched more of the footage, it shocked him even more. He had to call the police quickly before things got out of hand. Julian told them what he saw. They told him that they would send all officers to his house right away. Julian knew he had just found something very important, but what was so important that so many police were there? Julian called Jennifer and told her to come home. After a few minutes, he heard sirens outside. The first officer was already there. Jennifer also got home. She wanted to know what was going on, and when Julian showed her the video, she fell to her knees. Why? Jennifer and Julian should be proud of their cat for figuring this out, the officer told them. After watching the video, they asked Julian more questions about how things were at home. He told them how their cat acted and how it felt about Eve. This triggered the officer. Where is she? He asked. They had questions to ask her. He gave them her number, but they were unable to get in touch with her. What did Eve do? They asked for more information, and Jennifer told them everything they needed to know. When the officers came into the room where Luna and Lily were, she ran over to the wall and started meowing at it. It looked like Luna wanted to tell the officers something. Something was hiding in the wall. They used a sledgehammer to destroy the wall. They took down the wall without asking Julian or Jennifer first. Behind the wall, there was a secret space. What was happening? They pulled everything out of there right away, including a safe. They had to get someone who could open safes. In the meantime, other officers were running a background scan on Eve Anderson. What they came up with shocked Jennifer and Julian. There was no Eve, and you couldn't find her in a database or anywhere else. This person whoever it was fabricated her whole life. Jennifer broke down. She had known her best friend for over 10 years, so how could this be happening? What did the safe hold? A safecracker finally came, but Luna kept meowing at the safe while he was there. She also watched Lily closely. She got a whiff of something. When the safecracker was done, they understood how serious the situation was. Inside the safe, there was a lot of money, jewelry, papers, and passports. When one of the passports was opened, the officers saw the person. That's Eve! Yelled Jennifer. They found a hidden stash from Eve. The police captain came to Jennifer, 
He told them that they were dealing with an international spy named Elizabeth Holmes. She was wanted for being a spy in 17 countries. Jennifer was taken aback. The reason she infiltrated the lives of Jennifer and Julian is that Julian works as the director of the national security company. He has access to the entire national security grid. Elizabeth had probably been hired by a rival company to leak secrets. At night, she deleted the video and tried to get into Julian's computer by hacking it. Luna was the only one that noticed something about Elizabeth, this is why Luna tried her very best to protect Lily from any danger that she could sense. Luna had made a big break in this case. Officers told Julian he should be very proud of their cat. Eventually, they managed to catch Elizabeth trying to leave the country. She knew that there were police at the house and she was not going to get caught. But when she did, she told the whole truth. Luna came to the rescue. Luna and Lily became best friends as they grew up. Lily eventually learned the entire story from her parents. Since then, she and Luna have never been apart. Luna always kept an eye out for Lily. Julian and Jennifer tried to be more careful about who they let into their home. If they made a mistake again, at least they had Luna to watch out for them.